Hey, what's going on? Um, I thought I'd make a bit of a different type of video looking at, you know, what's going on in the world and what's happening everywhere. Um, it's understandable that a lot of us aren't feeling the best. So when we look at, you know, a lot of the times when we get stuck in the same routine, stuck at home, stuck sort of, we just feel trapped. We feel stuck. And a lot of us right at the moment are feeling a bit crap. So I've written down here how to feel, how to feel like crap. The first thing we've got to do is change our mentality. How to feel happy. What do I need to do to start feeling happy? Being stuck at home, you know, whether we're grown up, whether we're kids, whatever age bracket you are, it's, it's a bit tough at the moment. You know, everyone feels stuck. Like even in my situation, you know, I'm a grown man. There are still days where, you know, I have limited responsibilities because I don't have, I'm not working at like at this time of recording. I've got a couple of days off and even I feel a bit, you know, stuck and it's easy to look at the situation and let the situation take over you. So understanding that some of you guys at home might not be feeling the best. We're going to take this situation from how to feel like crap and look at how we can try and make ourselves feel a little bit better. So I've got it planned out. I've got it written down and I'm just going to scroll down from the bottom of the page. So you guys need to understand yourselves. Stuff happens. You know, everyone feels crappy now and then. A lot of the time we get stuck. We look at how good we felt sometimes and, and want to feel that good all of the time. And that's not realistic. You know, sometimes you just, it's going to sound bad, but you need to embrace the grind. You need to embrace not feeling great sometimes. A lot of the times you're going to feel amazing, but every now and then there are going to come times where you don't feel the best. There might be a reason and there might not be. But it's these times where we don't feel great that really make us enjoy and embrace how great other times feel. And some of us just don't feel great for no reason. We can't put our finger on anything. We can't highlight why. It's just, it is what it is. I feel this way and I'm not happy about it. Us being, you know, essentially locked inside with the, you know, the quarantine, us not being able to do a lot of the things that we would normally normally do. And, you know, even just the social distancing. So one of the podcasts I listened to, the guys were getting um, Corona tested. And these were two grown men. One of the guys is an MMA commentator you know, lifelong martial artists, the other guys that, well, both of them are also stand-up uh, comedians. And they said as, as soon as both of them found out that they were both negative, they gave each other a hug and they both said, man, we really needed that. And where we are right now, it's easy to feel less than great when you're forced to be apart from the people that you're used to being with. And that might not be your family, but that might be your friends, you know, your aunties, your uncles, your grandparents, whoever that might be. The other side of it is to look at, you know, how will this affect me in 10 years? If you're annoyed or upset about something that's happening, you know, whether it's a current decision, a current action, look at it as how will it affect you in 10 years? Um, trying to look back on like my own personal experiences. I remember, you know, the times where I was young and I thought I was in love and I thought, you know, if I can't get this girl to love me, then I'm never going to be happy and blah, blah, blah. And now like, I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't remember most of the people's names that I went to school with. They're just not very important to me. I don't remember most of the girls that I went on a date with that I thought this has to work, otherwise I can't be happy. And that wasn't even 10 years ago, some of those situations. So you guys need to look at whatever I'm feeling crappy about. Is this going to affect me later? Is this going to affect me in 10 years time? Thankfully, a lot of the times the answer is no, it's not going to affect you in 10 years time. So deal with it. And I'm not saying don't feel sad or don't feel like crap. Sometimes you have to. But let the emotion come, deal with it, and then let it pass. Don't let it sit on top of you and break you down. This is one of like <laughs> the most important things that I wanted to put out in this video. So I haven't started it yet, but I'm like really excited to start listening to an audiobook by David Goggins. He was, um, I think I've got a, 
picture of him here. This is David Goggins. This was before he became a Navy SEAL and this was after. So David Goggins was um, at one point in his life a little bit overweight. Um, he ended up, he set himself a goal. He was going to become a Navy SEAL and he broke through every boundary that was in front of him. I don't remember exactly, but I think he was the first black Navy SEAL. One of the things that he says in his book and one of the reasons why I'm really excited to read it I'm going to fix this spelling mistake because that's really embarrassing. <laughs> Understand that, and this goes for some of you. Some of you are great. Don't take, the, don't take this the wrong way. But some of you listening don't understand the potential that you have. Understand that you are the uncommon of the uncommon. Look at yourselves like you are the X-Men. For you have something in you that no one else has. You have something in you that no one else can do. And let's be real. It's usually the people that are most in tune with the, the situation around them, the people around them and the world around them that have them that feel a lot more. So if you are feeling a bit stressed, a bit strained in this time, you're probably picking up on the emotions and the feelings of the people around you. And this also means that you are greater than you're ready to be sometimes. You know, you're a little bit over people telling you, you know, you're better than this, you can do this, you know, shut up and put up, get this done. The part that I'm going to ask you to focus on is that you are greater. That even though you might not be ready to carry that burden, you have the ability to do it. And all that means that you need to learn how to push past those boundaries. You are the uncommon of the uncommon. That means that in the world, there are common people. There are people that are just good. People that are great at what they do and they just, they're amazing at doing what they're doing. They're good. There are some people in the world that are uncommon. They're not the same as everyone else. They're on another level. But in every generation, in every place, in every situation, there are those few people that are the uncommon of the uncommon that take that small group that they're a part of and push it to the next level. That They are the X-Men of the world. They're the people that bring in these superpowers that have something inside them that pushes reality to its limits. And if I'm being honest, that's a hard burden to carry. If that is you, you might not see it or feel it all the time, but Understand that that's quite a lot of you. Find a working routine. Give your body what it needs. I hate when I talk to people and they're like, yeah, I go to bed really late or, you know, I don't get a lot of sleep. First, your body needs a lot of sleep. And if you want to start feeling better, you need to give it time to rest and relax. Like if you've got a computer and you never turn it off, eventually it's going to start running slow and it's going to start struggling. Your brain is like a thousand computers mushed into one. And if you don't give it the time to turn off and get all of its things in order, like when we look at a computer, one of the things that you should be doing with your computer is running the defragmentation. As it gets all the different parts of files and puts them all together so that it can run a bit smooth, like a little bit more smoothly. If you don't give your brain the, the chance to, you know, defragment itself, that that's going to catch up to you. On top of that, Go to bed early. Wake up when you've had enough sleep. So my routine, I go to sleep at 9.30 and I wake up at 5.30. Some of you might need an extra hour of sleep on top of that. Give yourself that time. But find a routine that works. Don't go to sleep at like 4 in the morning and wake up at 7. You know, playing Fortnite all night isn't all that exciting. On top of that, set yourselves regular times where you're going to do the things you need to do. You need to eat. Set yourself times where you eat so that you don't so you don't spend your day chasing your emotions or your feelings. Well, I'm feeling hungry now, so I'm only going to eat now. Give yourself regular boundaries and hold yourself to them. This also gives you time to do the things that you need to do. Some of you guys are super artistic and have like really great skills in that front. Set yourself time to draw because I know a lot of people like get into like meditative states and calm their whole bodies down when they're drawing or when they're reading, when they're playing an instrument. Like, and these are all things that I wish I was good at. 
my meditative state comes when I'm talking. When I'm running my mouth, my brain sort of just goes into a new place and that's where my body calms down. The unfortunate thing is not everyone wants to listen to me all the time. So sometimes I just have to blather on and without people listening. But you need to set yourself these times to get into your state, to do your things, to find the things that you're great at and develop those skills. And if that's what that's what you need, give your body what it needs. Give your mind what it needs. Be you and take that you to the next level. Set small accomplishable goals. One of the things that people always say, successful people always start with a simple goal. You wake up in the morning, make your bed. If you're feeling like crap every single morning, wake up and make your bed. Clean your room. Doing these things helps you feel that sense of accomplishment. It gives you that that dopamine drop in your in your brain, that sense that I've done something and it sets the goal, it sets the ball rolling to make you feel better. And don't give up or don't just sort of keep pushing things. Like the days that I've had off, I've made sure that I've woken up at the same time, so I'm still awake at 5.30, but I'm not getting out of bed until like six or seven because I can stay in bed and watch TV. Don't do that. It doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help you. Wake up, get out of bed and do what you got to do. Set those goals and hold to those goals. And every time one goal becomes regular, set a new one. You made your bed two days in a row. Awesome. Now clean your room. You've cleaned your room. Awesome. Exercise. Should have scrolled down and let you see that I wrote, make your bed, clean your room. (laughs) And the next one is exercise. Doing regular exercise gives your body the different chemicals it needs to make you feel better. You need to look at yourself kind of like it's a car. If you leave a car sitting in the front yard, it's going to get rusty. It's going to get covered in cobwebs. Eventually, when you turn it on, things aren't going to work properly. Now, I'm not saying every day you need to like go and bench 500 kilos and do what it... No. Even if it's just going for a walk, going for a jog, doing 20 push-ups... Whatever your sense of exercise is, do that. And every time you get used to it, again, push it to that next level. Don't get used to doing something and leave it there. Take everything you can to that next level. Because you need to break the cycle. It's easy to feel like crap. It's easy not to feel the best. You need to look at what you can do to break that cycle, to make yourself feel better. It's not always about the here and it's not always about the now. What can you do to make yourself feel good? It's easy to feel like crap and to just leave yourself feeling like crap. I'm so upset. I'm going to stay in bed until some time. I can't get out of bed. Get out of bed. Break the cycle. You want to break the cycle? Do something fun. Do a TikTok. First thing you do, wake up. Do a little TikTok dance. Maybe brush your hair. Like, I don't need to. I'm bald. So, score one for the bad guy. But find whatever you need to do to break the cycle. Wake up 20 minutes earlier and go for a walk. Find something that takes you out of your own brain. Take ownership of the emotions you have. Everyone feels everything. Like I'm going to sound like I'm being a bit mean, but I don't mean it in that way. But if you're feeling upset or stressed or whatever you're feeling, everyone's felt that way. Everyone is feeling that way. There are probably like millions of people around the world feeling exactly what you're feeling. Don't let your emotions control you. A lot of those people that feel that way are letting their emotions tell them what they're going to be doing. Do you own your emotions or do your emotions own you? Are you going to let yourself feel like crap or are you going to take those crappy emotions and tell them, well, we're going for a walk today because I want to feel better. Talk to someone you trust. Find someone that you can talk to that you need to talk to. Find someone that you feel comfortable talking to. And this is where I get a little bit like, eh, a bit worried. Like, I don't talk to a lot of people. I feel that it's a little bit dangerous to tell too many people too many things because, you know, being in the age of social media, people feel the need to like, they get bored of their own lives, so they like to share other people's lives. So find one or two people that you really trust, that you know aren't going to say anything. Talk to them about how you're feeling. Let them tell you what they do to feel better. Because right now, like, let's be real, with this whole, you know, pandemic time a lot of us are feeling the same a lot of us are feeling a bit trapped in our own homes you got to find what it is that makes you feel good sometimes that's copying what someone else is doing that made them feel good 
Now, I'm gonna come to the end, yeah, cool. So there's a Wim Hof breathing exercise. I'm gonna give you guys the warning. So I did this for a little bit and I sort of fell out of habit with it, but it's meant to like flood your body with oxygen and make you feel better. Try it at your own discretion. There is a warning that if you have asthma, it can sort of like trigger that asthma. Or if you have like any breathing or respiratory issues, it can like, you know, it can be a bit bad for that. Um, there's also like some people have gotten lightheaded from it. So be a bit careful when you do the Wim Hof. I'm even going to delete that. So do, do a modified version. Find what works for you. But this one, so I literally just watched the show. Um, on Netflix and they had this really cool mindfulness exercise so I might like stuff it up and do it entirely wrong but you know try it and see if it works for you so the first is just pull up your index finger or your pointing finger and just see if you can feel what it feels like in the middle of that finger like what does inside your finger feel like now when I did this I sort of I don't know, it was like, it's a weird sensation. I could feel like a tingly, like inside that finger. I I, I don't know why, but I can feel it sort of a little bit of a tingling sensation in that finger. And then from there, stretch that out and see if you, what the inside of your hand feels like. And then move it all the way to your whole arm, your, your forearm and then your whole arm and see if you can feel what that whole arm is feeling or what it feels like on the inside of that arm and then see if you can get it in both arms and as I'm trying this in front of you like I can't get it I can't feel that sensation in my other arm I can't really feel what my other arm feels like like the tip of my pinky's got it but the rest of my arm's a bit stuck so I don't really feel it in my other arm but the mindfulness exercise then extends to your legs and can you feel what the inside of your legs feels like you know inside the meat and the bones can you feel what like what your body feels like what you feel like and then from there it's simply to just look and hear what do you see around you what do you see in front of you and what can you hear what's taking place around you what can you see and what can you hear And all this activity is meant to do is, it's meant to take you out of your own brain for a little bit. It's meant to help you see that, like it's meant to sort of disrupt what's taking place. We kind of get stuck in a flow of, you know, whatever's going on in our brain. If we're feeling stressed, we're sort of stuck there and we're just, ah, always feeling stressed. And it builds and it builds. And sometimes you need to disrupt that. Stop it to sort of get... To, to sort of think a different way or to feel a bit better. There are a whole number of different mindfulness stuff. I don't know, I just, I saw that and I, I liked it. In the beginning when they said, you know, what does the inside of your hand feel like? I, I laughed and I thought, like, a uh, hand? But then as I focused, I sort of, I did feel that tingly after a little bit. So I'm a bit of a skeptic. I don't like, you know, believing a lot of things or trusting a lot of things, but I don't know, it worked. <laughs> It worked for me, but again, it's not going to work for you and not everything that everyone does works for everyone. But this did work for me. So to cut it like a long story short, if you are feeling a bit crappy now, I can guarantee you so many people are. And I'm talking from like, you know, like the people that you expect it. So the small old people that are living at home, even to the, the big bad guys of the world. I guarantee that The Rock is even feeling it a little bit. You know, and some of you might not know, but he's pretty much my cousin. Um, (laughs) But everyone's feeling a little bit off because we are in a difficult situation at the moment. But I hope that if you guys need help, you know that you can reach out to someone around you. That if you need support, that it's always around you. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to comment, to reach out if you need anything. And I hope to see you guys outside once once the Rona stops. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.